Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rasan 427 And actually, today, we're actually doing this another top five video. Today, I'll be listing off my top five Royal Rumble Championship matches. And these are the World Championship matches that actually took place at the Royal Rumble. These are my top five. These are the five best I think that ever took place at the Royal Rumble. And starting out at my number five spot, I actually have the triple dot match that took place in Royal Rumble 2015 which is John Cena versus Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar. Now, going into this match, it was always weird because Seth Rollins was the Money in the Bank winner, and they usually don't get World Championship matches when they're Money in the Bank winners because they they already can have that any time, any place, anywhere. But I thought that adding Seth Rollins into this match was the best thing for this match. This match was absolutely fantastic. I've been watching this live the night of the Royal Rumble and just being absolutely blown away about this match. If they did Cena versus Brock, it would be a generic match between them. But adding Seth Rollins to this match... It really took it up a whole nother level. Brock Lesnar was fantastic in this match. I remember he, John Cena had like two A's, two AAs on him. He kicked out like a one count. Seth Rollins really displayed just how great he was with the elbow drop from the top rope through the announce table. Of course, Brock Lesnar actually picked up the victory because he was going on to defend his championship at WrestleMania. But yeah, this was an absolutely fantastic match. It took place in Philadelphia. I want to tell Philadelphia. I wasn't at this show at this time, but I did watch it live. Yeah, I just remember this, and this is probably my favorite triple threat match of all time. This one right here is definitely up there with the greatest triple threat matches of all time. This is John Cena versus Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar at Royal Rumble 2015. Moving on, my number four spot. This is the WWF Championship match at Royal Rumble 2000, Triple H versus Mick Foley. Now, this match is, is not one that I really watch all the time or I even watched like I didn't watch it up until the recent years and I just actually watched it just to refresh it and this is an absolutely fantastic brutal match it's one of those matches that definitely wouldn't happen today and I wouldn't say that wrestling is missing these types of matches I just feel like they've gone so far away from it that it's really even hard to have these type of matches today but Mick Foley definitely put over Triple H and crazy they did the same thing the year before with The Rock the Mick Foley put off the rock. Of course, he put over Randy Orton and Edge just by putting his body on the line. And I definitely want to go back and watch the Hell in a Cell match, actually, uh, too, since I actually seen this match. This is absolutely fantastic match. Triple H actually got his uh, leg cut really, really bad in the beginning. Triple H just busted open the dumb tax barbed wire. It was, a, it was a great spot with The Rock. We actually hit Triple H with the uh, steel chair, which is kind of a heel move, but The Rock was and Stone Cold was always like tweeners and stuff like that. Of course, Triple H picked up, picked up the victory over Mick Foley. I mean, it was actually Cactus Jack because he actually switched to Cactus Jack, but it's all Mick Foley. But yeah, this is absolutely fantastic match. This is probably the greatest street fight of all time, even though they really didn't fight like anywhere outside the arena or anything like that. I think it's the only negative to the match. There were so many great spots in this match. Of course, with the ending, Triple H hitting the pedigree on the dumb tax. That was a fantastic ending right there. Absolutely love that. But just just everything about this match. Of course, Mick Foley, you put him inside a hardcore match. It's always going to be great every single time. And moving on to my number three spot. Actually, you have Kurt Angle versus Chris Benoit at Royal Rumble 2003. This is for the WWE Championship. Now, they've put on matches before this. They were great. But I feel like this is their best match that they've ever put on. This one right here for the WWE Championship. This is what I think what made them want to put the title on Chris Benoit because actually there was rumors for this WrestleMania 19 that Kurt Angle was actually hurt going into WrestleMania 19. They were going to replace him with Chris Benoit. Of course, the next year he went on to win the Warrior Rumble, win the, win the World Heavyweight Championship. But yeah, this was definitely their best match together. I think this is Kurt Angle's best match. I think it's Chris Benoit's best match. I mean, just everything about this match, it was fantastic. The near falls, the countering. I mean, you have two of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Of course, it's going to be a great match. Chris Kurt Angle picked up the victory. He's going on to fight Brock Lesnar. So that was like pretty much the biggest match they could do. Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar in the main event at WrestleMania. But Benoit definitely, definitely showed what he could do inside this match. Of course, he put on great matches before this. But on this stage, on this level, one of the biggest pay-per-views for the Daddy Championship, the biggest championship inside wrestling, period. Like for him to do that on that level was fantastic. Kurt Angle was always great. But yeah, this is actually, and this is around the time where Team Angle and everything like that. Yeah, but absolutely fantastic. Man. If you have not seen that match, you have to go and watch the match. Just a mat technical match. It's not even the street fight or triple threats. It's a mat technical match. That match is fantastic. My number two spot is John Cena versus Umaga at Warrior Rumble 2007 Last Man Standing match. 
this match is something that I always watched as a kid. I always loved this match. And it really displayed just how great Umaga is. And just the spot, just all the spots of the match, the ending from John Cena actually choking out Umaga, the way Umaga actually showed that was absolutely fantastic. Just everything about this match I absolutely loved. This is when Umaga was actually undefeated, which he actually broke it at New Year's Revolution, which I feel like that if they would have him broke it here, it would have meant more, but they actually already broke it with a roll-up, but I guess it didn't really count because it was a roll-up. But I feel like that should have ended in DQ because John Cena, all he did was roll Umaga up, which he, that's how his undefeated streak ends, to just roll him up. But that didn't really make sense to me. But yeah, Umaga was absolutely, Umaga definitely, I, I would say Umaga actually carried this match. You know, I love John Cena, but I would say Umaga definitely carried this match. Cena, Cena was busted open. This was one of the last matches where it's, it's actually a bloodbath where everybody's bleeding and stuff like that before they went PG in actually 2008. But John Cena picked up the victory, choked Umaga out, last man standing match. And this was, this is one of the reasons I actually love this match over John Cena's later last man standing out quit matches because it was like the Super Cena stuff. And this one, I didn't feel like that, that really was. I feel like the way he won was he really tried and he really took everything he had to actually beat Umaga. And that's what I love about this match. And moving on to my number one spot, I have another John Cena match. John Cena versus AJ Styles, Daily Championship, Royal Rumble 2017. Everything about, you know, I kind of don't even think about this match or even watch this match. I go back and watch the SummerSlam match so much that this one I really don't even think about at all. But then it's just like, wow, this match is absolutely fantastic. Like, it's it's amazing. This is John Cena's 16th world title once so he actually picked up the victory inside this match. But yeah, just it just get overshadowed for me. I, I don't know if people. I think people prefer this match over the uh, SummerSlam match. But I definitely would say I prefer the SummerSlam match over this one. Even though this is my number one, I still prefer the SummerSlam match over this one. But yeah, this thing is absolutely fantastic. I would say what makes this match so great is the crowd. The crowd was into it the whole entire match even before the bell rung they knew what type of match these guys want to put on but my number one spot john cena versus aj styles at royal rumble 2017 and those are my top five favorite championship matches from the royal rumble and give me your top five inside the comment section below what are your top five like comment subscribe thanks for watching